Hey guys, it's Taylor. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. It's like awesome to have you guys back. Yes, I don't have my light. It means that you see me bare and raw. So we're gonna do a bit of a random thing today. I'm gonna be asked 10 random questions and boom, I'm gonna answer them for you. These random questions are just gonna be thrown at me and I'm gonna think of the first thing that comes out of my head. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Mm, let's get started. Oh god, there are too many in a name. The first thing that jumps up into my head, I wish that the underboob trend that's happening at the moment where women wear like boob tubes and you see the underboob, or even worse sometimes, actually I don't know which one's worse, but the shorts where you can see the underbutt. Can we just get rid of the underbutt and the underboob look, please? And the side boob can go too. Buffy. Buffy! Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look her up. Um, one person in the entire world, it would be Michael Jackson performing in front of a stadium of thousands upon millions of people looking through TV screens right at him and watching him in Istanbul in 1994. 1990s, early 1990s. I always dreamt of being able to be Michael Jackson on that stage. I've been thinking about this recently actually because I've been thinking about the voice and what would I go if I was going on the voice but if I was thinking like American Idol, look any of those singing TV shows, I'd have to go with. One of my favorites is to sing is at last by Etta James. In saying that, I've been thinking a lot about Kiss from a Rose by a Seal. There used to be a da 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 My power, my pleasure, my pain. Do me a lot of more than your photo. I was thinking about this a lot actually when I was traveling around Europe recently and that would be to be able to speak every single language in the world. Elf. Not even... Seriously? Elf. Would I get to marry Legolas? Hello? Oh my god! This is like hands down. I saw Scream 3 when I was in year six and never have I ever been so traumatized by a scene than the one when Neve Campbell's character, Sydney, wakes up in the middle of the night. She's dreaming in her house. She walks up to a window and hears, Sydney, Sydney. And it's her mother, her dead mother, walking towards the, <laughs> they're walking towards the window and then suddenly disappears from view from the window. So Sydney looks over at her window and then BOOM! Out comes the scream guy! Oh my god! It's the scariest scene I've ever seen, ever! You can ask my parents, you can ask my friends. I would not sleep near an open window for years. I'm not just talking like a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm talking years. I could not go near an open window, an open dark window where I couldn't see outside. Dali. Salvador Dali. Snake on pizza. I was in LA. I was like, you know, getting ready to go out. I was at a friend's place. They were all eating pizza and they were like, yeah, this is snake on pizza. And I thought, ew, who put snake on pizza? That's just disgusting. Cut to about four hours later, heavily drunk Taylor running into the house absolutely starving her guts out, grabbing whatever was in their fridge, and then going, you do realize you're eating snake on pizza. And I said, tastes like chicken. I regret that. Trump. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. That's about it. 10 random questions just thrown at me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel and my socials. 
Tell me what you guys would have answered for some of those questions. I'm very interested to know, uh, just in the comments section below. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will speak to you soon, every Tuesday. Woo!